Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a Play-Doh's haul. So my Play-Doh's recently had their 90% off clearance, so I kind of went crazy. I would have spent like $529, I believe, and then my um, actual total was $52 in change. And on my receipt, it says I saved $444, which is absolutely crazy. I got so much stuff, and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. So let's get started because I have a feeling this is going to be a long video. I got 39 pieces, and yeah, let's just get into it. I think it'd be easier if I just bring all the clothes down here wow there's literally like so much it's crazy but i want to get all this photographed today so i can get it listed throughout the week so yeah all right so the first item i got is this lulu's dress so there's the tag um it looks like this it's like an off the shoulder fit and flare little black dress super basic but i love selling lulu's every time i list it it sells really fast um, definitely under two weeks, so I'm hoping that one will do well. All right, the next item I got, I know it doesn't have a lot of value to it, but it was new with tags, and I tend to grab anything that's new with tags. Um, I don't know if that's a smart decision or not, but it's just this really cute uh, crop top. It's by Zaffle. Zaffle's like one of those like China brands, like super cheap type of clothes, like a Romwe type of thing, but it's new with tags, and yeah, looks like that. Oh, and it ties in the back, which is super cute. The next item I got is another fast fashion brand, and it is by the brand Boohoo. It's a size US 20, and it's just this, like, giant green sweatshirt dress, and, like, the sleeves, I think, are so fun on it. This is more of an out-there piece, but I usually like to grab fast fashion brands, like Fashion Nova, Boohoo, all those types of brands, because I feel like a lot of people are searching for them, so even though I'm not going to get a ton of money for it, there you typically are a faster flip. Alright, this next item I got, the dress is so cute, I'm not really sure what the brand is, um, but yeah, the dress just looks like this, it's just like this pink, kind of geode, watercolor type of look and then it laces up on the back and again it's new with tags which is why i got it um and i didn't know what the brand was so i was kind of curious it's called bossy the label for more research i kind of think it's just like one of those instagram brands but it's a super cute dress so i'm hoping this style will carry it all right the next item i got are some lucky brand shorts these are the roll-up shorts just look like this just basic denim shorts all right, this next item I got is by Anthropology, and it is such a cute blazer. So it's just this striped blazer. I just love the stitching and the detailing, the cute little buttons. And the tag is so cute on this. Like, look at that. So cute. Um, I think this is going to, the comps on this are actually, like, kind of high. So for Anthropology, I really don't expect much. I feel like when I first started reselling, everyone was like, oh, my God, Anthropology is, like, the brand to get. And then I just started realizing I was not getting a ton of money for it pieces were typically sitting but this one actually has decent comps like the $35 range so I'm excited about that all right the next item I got is this Madewell piece so there's the tag I don't find much Madewell so I always get excited when I do because again this is a brand that's typically a fast flip for me so it's just this varsity pullover sweater all right the next item I got is another anthropology piece it's just this really cute basic sweatshirt with the flower on it it is by the brand TLA, which is an anthro brand I don't typically pick up unless it's um, a piece like this. Because they make very basic pieces, so I don't think they do that well. But when I find something like cute like this, then I will pick it up. But I still don't expect much for that, you know, probably in the $18 to $30 range. Alright, the next item I got are these new with tags. They're Ralph Lauren denim and supply shorts they look like this they have the american flag as pockets so you can see the stripes the stars and then this is the back of them and there is the tag or the patch you can see it's kind of distressed the american flag in here are the tags they're a size 28 i actually got a lot of shorts it's so many shorts on clearance they had a lot of cute ones so i just got a bunch of jean shorts which i know it's not necessarily the season right now but hey i live in florida so like, on New Year's Day, I'm going to the beach. Like, you know what I mean? It's hot all year round here. All right, the next item I got are these really cute American Eagle shorts. 
and they have kind of the lace pocket. They had so many American Eagle shorts. This is the only pair I picked up because I actually sold a pair really similar to these. They were from my own personal closet and they had the lace pockets on them and they sold really fast. So I was hoping that maybe it was like a good style. But yeah, these are the high rise shorty in a size four. All right, the next item I got is this Free People, just polka dot sweatshirt or not sweater sweatshirt it's a sweater it's just a pullover sweater it kind of has retro vibes and the button on the back is so cute it's just like a little um crystal or not crystal they're pearls so it's like a little pearl bow and it's a size extra small it doesn't look like a typical free people piece um but i think it was really cute all right these are anthropology which kind of surprises me i don't know why but they're anthropology they're by the brand e by eloise I don't know if you'll be able to see that but that's what it looks like they're just these black arrow shorts and the hem is so cute it's like this scalloped hem kind of like a double layer and they're just super cute I love the arrow print so those should do well all right this next item is very basic but again it was new with tags um it's by J Crew, and it's just this navy high low hem um navy scoop neck top the style name for it, I've already priced all these items, so this is called the Drapey Tunic. But that's just like a good bundle piece and like something easy to put in my 3 for 30 sale. And like a lot of this stuff I feel like will be in my 3 for 30 sale. Alright, the next item I got are these Free People shorts. They're just like these tan shorts that look like this. They're button fly cutoffs and these are a size 25. And I actually have a pair of Free People 25 um, shorts for sale in my closet now. So when I share them, I'm going to share them like right next to each other. So if someone's looking for one pair, I have another pair in their size right next to it. All right, the next item I got are these one teaspoon shorts. So I never find one teaspoon. The only time I ever find one teaspoon is if I go to the Play-Doh's 90% off sale. It's like the only time I ever find it. But they look like this. They are called the um, number twos. They're just a low rise, super, super short short, and they have a button fly on them. One teaspoon you can get like decent money for, like for a pair of jean shorts you can get decent money for them, but they don't really seem to fly off my shelf, and maybe that's because I maybe priced them a little higher. I'm not really sure, but we'll see how those do. I'm not super confident because they're low rise, but they are a small size, I think. Yeah, they're a 25, so they're a small size, like if you are 25, you probably have a flat stomach and don't mind low rise. All right, the next item I got is this Harlow and Graham, just kind of basic shirt. The only reason I picked this up is because I um, never picked up this brand before until I started going to the bins. I found it one time at the bins, this really cute matching set, and it sold like really fast. So I was like, oh, am I missing out? So and I got that really cute thing. All right, the next item I got are these just express button up shorts. Again, these are just a good bundle item, good for me to have in my 3 for 30 sale. Next item is this misguided asymmetrical hem light pink skirt. There is a misguided. Misguided is another brand. Never find it anywhere except the Play-Doh's 90% um, uh, off thing. But yeah, this is also going to be going in my 3 for 30 sale, and it is a US 12. It's just a very basic piece, and it's also a good like eBay Mercari piece because it's so lightweight. The shipping on it's going to be really cheap. So sometimes I like to buy those kind of brands for Mercari. All right, the next item I got is this Free People. It's just kind of like this um, ribbed thermal. has this really cute lace detail. Looks like this. I just love like how it's like the same v-neck on the front and the back. And this is Free People size medium. All right, the next item is another pair of Free People. This is Free People shorts. They're just kind of these like twist front shorts. And they are like this black and white abstract floral print. They look like this. Very boho. And they are a size small. Alright, this next piece is by Kimchi Blue. So it is an Urban Outfitters piece. And I think, I can't tell if it's a tank top or a dress, to be honest. Or it's a romper. It's a romper. Wow, okay, it's a romper. So it just looks like this. It's like purple. It's like tiered has this cute little back to it. It's pretty basic, but Urban Outfitters is just a good bread and butter brand, and it was so cheap. I mean, for my three for 30 sale, it'll work. It was only $1.20. All 
Okay, so this is actually, this 90% off sale is so much cheaper too than my um, local thrift stores. I don't really go to local Goodwills anymore, they're just way too expensive, but I do go to local church stores and the ones I go to, the prices range from $1.50 to $2.50 per item on their half off days. I only go on half off days. So they're $1.50 to $2.50 and all this stuff, I don't think I paid $2.50 for anything. It was all like under $2, probably $1.80 and under. All right, the next item I got is another Lulu's dress. It's just this, like, kind of halter dress. Cute, and it has a little lace hem. It's just a really basic black dress. Um, but again, Lulu's is a good fast flip. I was going to try to find the tag for you guys. It's a good fast flip. It looks like that. Size extra small. Okay, next item is a Madewell top. It's just a color block linen shirt. Looks like that. It's pretty basic. All right, so this is actually something I'm experimenting with. So I found this brand before, but like never for a good price where I wanted to experiment with it. It's called DL1961, but I got them for $1.60. So I was like, okay, can I finally um, take a risk on them? And they're just these like cute shorts. They look like this. I think they're kind of in style. Like Bermuda shorts were coming in for a little bit, like the jean ones. And I don't know if they're still in right now, but... Yeah, they're cute. They're sold on like Neiman Marcus, like really expensive websites. And these are the Cory fit. Yeah, Cory slouchy boyfriend shorts. So hopefully those do well. All right, the next item I got is a Lululemon tank top. So it looks like this crisscross on the back. And yeah, just kind of a basic tank top. You don't really get much for these, but it's worth picking up. I think this is, nope, this is not the last pair of jean shorts. So I got these jean shorts. They are tiny, but they are by Jay Galt. So the John Galt brand, which is part of Brandy Melville. They're just button fly um, ripped jean shorts. And they are a size extra small. So these shorts are so small, but they're still worth picking up. Somebody likes them. Brandy Melville is a really trendy brand. Just type in the word Visco Girl when you're selling Brandy Melville. Bam, instant sale. All right, another just new with tags items. Um, it's just a pair of Francesca shorts. Nothing super special. Maybe you shouldn't have picked these up because, I mean, they're not like a super in style, but new with tags, so why not? And then the next pair of shorts I got, I kind of want to see if they fit me. I think they might be a little big, so they're size six, but we'll see. Um, they're just these um, Victoria's Secret pink light wash um, high-waisted cutoff shorts. Look like that. And yeah, I think they're size six, I said. Just wanna make sure. In case anybody wants any of these things, I just wanna make sure to give you guys the sizes. Yeah, they're a size six, so we'll see if those fit. If they do, I might keep them, but. All right, next I got these really cute airy shorts. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I love the color, I love the eyelet print, the paper bag weights, like everything about these shorts, like I love. I think they're so cute, but I feel like you have to be tan to wear these because of the color, um, but yeah, they're airy, size small. Airy does really well for me. Um, every time I list airy, I think pretty much all of my airy has sold except for like one item so far, so yeah. All right, the next item I got is a Fashion Nova shirt. Again, you guys know I like to pick up fast fashion brands. Like I said, they're not the biggest profit, but they do tend to sell fast, so it just looks like this. It's like a green faux suede shirt, and it has like the crisscross neckline. Um, and this is, has like huge slits on the side. And this is a size 2XL, so it's a great size. Oh my God, I absolutely love this piece. This is um, an anthropology brand, it's called Lilka. And it is just this super cute keyhole dress. Like, oh my God, it's so pretty. I'm just obsessed with this print. It's like a light pink boho paisley print. Has that huge keyhole detail on the back, on the front, and then on the back, it just looks like this. It is the most adorable dress ever. I literally, I love it so much. All right, the next item I got, I got just because it was Urban Outfitters. Honestly, the style is a little outdated, but it's just pins and needles, and it's just this cute lace, like bomber type of jacket. Cute, basic. All right, the next item I got, I have a feeling this will sell fast just because it's really trendy and it's by Misguided. It's a size US 4 and it's just this cropped sweatshirt that says 7392. I have no idea what that means, but like I said, it's kind of just like a trendy piece, kind of streetwear type of piece, so hopefully that sells fast. 
All right, I think this is finally the last pair of shorts. They are American Eagle New With Tags High Rise Festival shorts. They're gray with these kind of really cool um, large and exposed pockets. Then the back pockets here, and they are a size eight. All right, the next item I got is by the brand Project Social Tea, which I believe is sold at Urban Outfitters, and it just says Drinking of You. So just a cute little graphic pullover sweatshirt. Okay, I got a lot of anthropology. This is also an anthropology piece. It's not um, buttoned up or anything, but it's by the brand Saturday Sunday. And this is called the Highway Dress, and the comps on these are pretty decent as well. Um, yeah, so that looks like that. It's just like a comfy, everyday type of dress. And I have three more items left. So the first one is this kimchi blue skirt. So it's a very basic skirt. It's black and the hem is just all lace. Actually, what size is this? Oh, it's medium. It's not going to fit. But it's so cute. Um, yeah, really basic. Again, a good 3 for 30 sale item. And like I said, super lightweight. So if this is under 4 ounces, I kind of think it is. I can sell it with $3 shipping on Mercari, so people like that. All right, the next item I got is an American Eagle shirt. I kind of stay away from American Eagle shirts. I try to only get the shorts and the jeans because I feel like their shirts and dresses don't do that well. But I just really love the distressing in it with the ruffle um, sleeve. I just thought it was really cute. And yeah, it is a size extra small. And again, though, like I like lightweight pieces for my Mercari store. Because like on Poshmark, I feel like people are kind of put off by the $7 shipping. But when you're going on Mercari or eBay and you're, I'm only charging you like $3 in shipping, I feel like you're more likely to buy the item. And last but not least, this is probably one of my favorite pieces I found. And it's a dress by Pretty Little Thing. It is new with tags. It is a size USA4. And it is just this, it's a black maxi dress. So it's gonna be really hard to kind of like show on camera, but it's a maxi dress with a slit in it. And I just love the collar, the neckline. It's so cute. If you really wanna see it, I'm gonna put stock photos for my listing. So you can find that links down below. So yeah, if you guys want anything in this haul, leave me a comment or you can put it in a bundle on Poshmark and like comment a heart or something. I'll know you're from YouTube and I will give you a super awesome deal. Don't forget to subscribe down below and then eventually once my sales start getting really good, like again, like once my sales start like rising and getting better, I'm probably gonna do what sold videos or maybe I could still do them even though my sales aren't like 100% where I want them just you know that's more of like a realistic view I feel like I'm sharing every day posting new items every day and my sales are just like very slowly going up so That could just be because of the brands I'm thrifting I'm not finding the most in things at the bins, but with all this stuff I feel like this all has to sell well. I mean it was at Plato's closet I love sourcing there because the items are rarely damaged at least in my experience and they're all cute trendy brands that people are looking for now so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.